Hi, my name is Victoria Nadil, and I am a senior at Sleepy Hollow High School and a senior Girl Scout. I am working on a Girl Scout Gold Award project geared toward preserving an icon of our community, every bit as recognizable as the Headless Horseman himself, and that's the Sleepy Hollow 1883 Lighthouse. Please join me as I take you on a journey through the history of our lighthouse, one of only five such structures left standing on the Hudson. As early as 1847, many river pilots sailing along the river recognized the need for a navigational aid because of the dangerous rocks that lined the area. But it wasn't until 1881 when the engineer of the 3rd Lighthouse District, J.C. Duane, voiced the concerns of many river pilots in a letter sent to the Federal Lighthouse Board requesting permission to construct such a fixture. Although originally planned to sit at the bottom of what is now Main Street in Terrytown, it was ultimately decided that the lighthouse be built on the river a quarter of a mile west from Kingsland Point Sleepy Hollow. Once constructed in 1883, the value of the lighthouse became immediately evident. Its first steward, Jacob Ackerman, a former riverboat captain, saved 19 people from drowning in the Hudson during his 21 years of service. He was succeeded by 11 other keepers. As the lighthouse entered the 20th century, it stood witness to the urbanization of its shoreline. The Maxwell Briscoe Car Company was the first automobile plant in Terrytown, and when the river froze over, people for the first time in the lower Hudson Valley could race the cars around the lighthouse. Laureate Leclerc was the first to witness the modernization of the structure, which is basically how it has remained to this day, equipped with telephone service, a washing machine, an electric refrigerator, and a television. The penultimate custodian, Richard Moreland, had the privilege of being interviewed by Edward R. Murrow for his famous television show, Person to Person, in June 1956. But its proud, uninterrupted 82 years of service have been chronicled in the lighthouse's displays, which now desperately need our help. As a Girl Scout, I have been able to secure the cooperation of the Sleepy Hollow Mayor's Office and also partnered with the Terrytown Rotary Foundation in efforts to raise the awareness of the lighthouse's unique part in our river town history and to raise funds to help preserve that history. You can be part of that story by donating whatever you can to the ongoing Girl Scout campaign to refurbish the Terrytown Lighthouse's displays, as well as fund future research on this icon, which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Please donate what you can to the Terrytown Rotary Foundation, referencing Project Lighthouse, PO Box 2, Terrytown, New York, 10591.